happy Friday evening and happy new moon in Aquarius and happy birthday to me. <laughs> the big four, four O oh, you guys, the big four O. Oh. So I'm excited. I've had a weird day. Lots of emotions have been coming up, <laughs> um, over the last couple days. And like, I just, like this birthday is, or this, this age is like, open it's just a whole new chapter of my life right it's like starting a new decade so the irony that of even beyond like this but the irony that my 40th is on a new moon is like that's a magical birthday um it's actually they call it that too so i was planning on doing a new moon thing tonight like over in my group However, it's not going to happen this evening, so we're going to save to do that, like to actually go dive deep, do some coaching, do some energy work together over in the Soul Relaunch Society. And so if you would like to go deeper into what I'm about to teach you or to share with you how I do it with a new moon ritual, head over there. And on Sunday, we're going to do um, Sunday at 11, I believe is when we're doing our, our um, soul care. So. Hi, Darla. <laughs> I meant to call you. I need to talk to you. Uh, because I really wanted to go over there, Darla. Like, I need to ask you that, though, before I said I was doing it, and I didn't. So, let's get into this. Have you ever done a new moon ritual? Or does this sound too woo-woo? Uh, or are you really about the moon and you do all the things and all the phases? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. So, a new moon symbolizes a new beginning right? Or new something. Typically the full moon is when we release and there's a lot of energy surrounding it. But for the new moon, for me, a lot of energy surrounds it as for me. I don't know. I'm kind of backwards sometimes. So I want to share with you how I do a new moon ritual or a moon ritual or like how to actually make it work. Because when I first started doing this work, I'd be like, what's the point? Like I would do these practices and these self-healing things. And I'd be like, but nothing's really happening at the time, right? It's like it I it was before it was when I was still into instant gratification. And so when you're on a healing journey, it takes consistent action, right? Of showing up and doing that. But even more than that, there's something that a lot of people, including myself, I didn't I didn't know how important this was. And I remember uh actually studying this. <laughs> Like studying what I'm about to tell you about the one thing that I wasn't doing. And, and when you go from living life on accident to living life on purpose, this is the thing that's going to trip you up. This is what like being conscious creators of our, of our environment or our, um, experiences, right? We play a part in them. We don't think of this and here's, here it is intention, right? Setting an intention on why you're doing something. This was freaking hard for me. In the beginning, I'm like, why do I have to have an intention? Why isn't me just having good intentions good enough? I seriously would say that. I think there's a live one time where I said that in the beginning where I'm just like, I cannot be intentional. And my coach, Amy is on here. Love her to death. She knows that right now in my life, I want to be very like a lot more intentional with with what I'm putting out there with myself with you know just wanting to be live more on purpose that's really where I've been of like I want to show up like and and provide the value that I'm meant to provide but like with direction and on purpose I don't know because sometimes you know it's like we can't be too like about the outcome right attach the outcome and I'll do another live on that situation of when you like you know, are very, you're stuck in analysis paralysis and overthinking because Amy knows that that's where, like, literally that's why I need her in my life. Um, and so I can fall into this of like, not really knowing what the hell's going on. So when I started to be intentional, meaning I would sit down be like, okay, why am I sitting down? So that's step one, okay. Of doing any type of ritual, like, why are you doing it? Are you doing it to heal, to release something? Um, are you doing it to create something? Are you trying to, um, you know, manifest something specific? 
are you trying to to um, find forgiveness? Are you, I mean, you can get very more specific as you go about this. And that is where the moon phases come in, in my life. This is what's helped, like the new moon phases and keeping track of them. At first it was hard, but once I realized, once I studied them and was like, wait a minute, they, but they have intentions with each one. So it's almost like they're guiding us, right? They're directing. So like the new moon, it's about new beginnings and, and, um, I feel like cleaning a slate a little bit even and, and getting intentional with what I want my life to look like from this part out or this moment on. Um, and so like with the new moon, again, it's about new beginnings, full moon releasing. Then there's the waning crescent. There's the waxing, crescent, all of it. I don't get into all of that because it does, but I just mean, if you don't have an intention or you're not sure where to start, just see what the new moon represents. And this is actually a book I've used for quite some time now. It's Moon Spells Journal. I've used it. I use it over and over. So like you don't just do it once and throw it away. And I don't do moon rituals every month. I I don't I don't do them every month because and I might this year because they do help to keep me consistent in my healing practice. And I love to use the new the moon and energy, right? We're using the earth energy, the grounding energy, and I see the moon energy as creative energy. And so when I want to tap into my creative flow or I felt stuck, it's because I'm not connecting to source or connecting, you can say connecting to the moon or connecting to the earth, whatever you want to say, but having that connection on both ends of our chakras, like that's what chakras help us do is to open up those energy centers so that flow of light and information and divine wisdom can flow down through us into the world <laughs> and also shows us where we need to heal. It's just so beautiful. I love this work so much. So step one of anything, set an intention for why you're doing it. Um, and this can help you with that. I'm going to help you here in just a second with something specific to do about clearing space and making a plan, right? Of how you're going to like, you're, you're ready to clear something out or release something so you can make space for something new to come in. That's going to help you grow even more, give you more wisdom, heal even more. And then the second, I should say the, the second thing is to create your space. I put the intention before because it's so important and that's what a lot of people miss is like the, is, is the focus. And so then we move into the space. So like for me, I have my tray, right? You guys have seen my tray and I got a new one. This is actually a Merry Christmas tray, but this is my tray and it has my crystals. It has this jar that I like pull affirmations out of sometimes. It has my little, uh, a look at this, you guys. If you work with me <laughs> and come in my office, I'm a post-it like fanatic. And they're all over the place. So, um, and I have my little dragon, my little amethyst, my little am resin dragon. He's amethyst. I love him. So, um, so just have this. Then you can just take it wherever you go. Okay? Just take it wherever you go. Doesn't have to be a whole room, whatever. All right, and then the next, so the third step. Hi, Kim. Hello. Yes, finally. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Amy. Hi, Darla. Why the hell am I not saying these? Um, I've been in moon ritual before, not really done them personally. Okay, Darla. Heck yeah. I'm so glad. Like, that's why it was like, I need to go over to Darla's and do this. But so the third step is just, is sitting in it, right? And getting present. This is a time to be present in the moment. Okay. And this is actually another secret of like, really making these work for you to see them as opportunities to be still right and to slow down and to get our thoughts and our and our body and our soul into the present moment to where we can reflect from a a place that we don't take everything so personal it can feel really personal when we lose a job like we lose a loved one um we can have anger we can have you know, what, why is this happening to me? Right. We go in to that space and, and that is a space we can't, it, it's not, um, we can stay there. Right. It, so we don't want to go back into it, but if you're in a place of detachment where you're not your body, you're not your thoughts, you're not your emotions, you are here 
to learn in soul school. <laughs> you have, there's a, there's a reason for the pain and your higher self is saying, Hey, take a look at this. Like what's happening here? How can we heal from this? And this is what a coach does as well. And therapy too. Therapy is great for this as well, but to do a ritual on your own is like, okay, I'm present. What's going on for me now? Once you get in the present moment, and for me, I go through my chakras, I feel around the clothes on my skin, I get grounded, I feel the support underneath me, I'll do a little, you know, guided meditation, so just, and we'll do that on Sunday, if you'd like to come over and be in that, um, totally free, uh, and I just get, I, I allow my vibration to get higher. So when we're stuck in depression and sadness and all those things, it's okay that we feel that we have to accept those. That's the fourth, like that's the big step to accept where you're at, accept your feelings right now, not as they're good or bad, just see them there and allow them to be there because that's what helps us release them, right? Is to be with what's happening and know that your healing is in your, you do have power over your healing. And if you do start to feel better and, and all the things. And so with the new moon ritual, it, uh, it gives you your power back of like, okay, I want to use this energy to sit with myself with the intention of healing, whatever that might look like. You can even say that whatever I meant to receive, I'm open to receive. So you don't really need to know specifically all the time, but it's good for me to know a situation that I want to heal or a project I want to like, you know, work more on. So, so those are the steps to get started. So now I'm going to give you guys, um, I'll give you something to do in your, in your ritual. Okay. So get your journal and your pen. You also need one of those. And what we're going to do, I'm going to give you guys some questions and I'll put them at the top, but this is about clearing space and plan. And so the new moon is a time to clear space and nurture creative energy, simply holding space and being receptive, open, poised to accept what is offered and willing to heed messages from your inner knowing will open new paths and get things moving forward in the right direction. These questions can spark inspiration. Okay. So I'll just name a couple of them. So like what has come to a close recently that has cleared space for new projects or, you know, new, new energies to come in, right? Another one, what have I been daydreaming or visualizing lately? Again, what do we want? <laughs> that's, that's what this new moon is doing. It's shaking things up and is saying, hey, something's not working. <laughs> Let's find out what it is. What needs are not being met in your relationships, in your friendships, in all co whatever, like a coworker relationship that you're constantly frustrated with. It's because there's a need that's not being met. And that's going to come out here, right? Of like, what's going on. And so, but also on the other end of the spectrum, if you want to start to really live on purpose and, and live in your power, right? It's about what have you been daydreaming? So what new opportunities have appeared lately? What new opportunities have appeared just opened up, right? I was invited to do an event March 9th <laughs> and I'm totally doing it. And it got me out of this place because I've kind of felt disconnected and kind of like just in observation mode lately. I've just been really, I've had, a, I, it's been an extra challenge <laughs> to get connected lately and that's okay, right? I'm in this ritual. I'm allowing that to be, and I'm not making it mean anything about me, right? So like, what are we making our stories mean? And then the next one. So what new lens can I, can I use, to, wait, sorry, what new lens can I use to access or to assess where I'm at right now? So what perspectives, is there something that you can shift your perspective to like an outside view or a perspective of what the other person was going through or not? Or like, how can you do it just to raise your vibe, feel a little bit better, right? The next one. So what new ways can I learn to open new doors in my life? I'll give you an example. So like today I had a lot of happy birthdays, <laughs> a lot of happy birthdays. And it's kind of like a struggle for me to take like, I'm like, oh, thank you. Or like if someone says thank you, I'm like, no, thank you. Like I have to work on taking someone showing, like telling me like, happy birthday. I just, you deserve it. So today I've just held space for everybody. And tomorrow I'm going to like thank everybody. 
Um, and I'm receiving that. I'm receiving that celebration, right? It's a celebration of my life today. 40 years and I stepped out of a decade, <laughs> like 30 to 40, 39 to 40. I feel like it's a, it's a door. I definitely have a door opening up and, and now I'm in this space of what am I, what am I releasing? And there's some big changes coming. So stay tuned. <laughs> stuff happening. All right. What would I like to manifest right now? What would you like to happen in your life right now? Or what do you want to feel like? If you've been feeling down, you could say, I just want to feel better. I just want to feel good right now. I just want to, whatever it is, I want to feel confident. I want to feel so like you want to tap into how do you want to feel right now? That can help. That can like help a little bit. And the last one, what three activities will help get the wheels of change turning? And so are you stuck in indecision? Are you stuck in procrastination, analysis, paralysis, overthinking? It's because we're not, there's an unmade decision. That's why we don't move forward. Or we're focusing on what we're going to lose if we make this decision. Or we're identifying with our current circumstances. I feel like I need to say this. <laughs> This has been coming through so much today. I know it's this new moon energy of if you are feeling stuck right now, or if you're feeling like there's just no hope or like, I don't know if you're feeling very down right now, I want to challenge you to do, I want to ask you something. Are you identifying with your circumstances, right? Are you identifying with something that's went uh, wrong around you, or maybe you were rejected or whatever, and you're making it mean something about you. So the moment that we start to identify with our life situations is the moment we're cut off from our light. That's literally the moment we're cut off is when we start to say, oh, that person's right about me. I did that bad thing, or I feel ashamed, or I'm angry, you know, um, at how my life has turned out. Like if we are identifying ourselves by what's happening around us, we're going to stay there, right? That's how it's created in our, in our brain is <laughs> like, oh, I am this person who, who is in a toxic relationship. I am this person who just, you know, relapsed or whatever. Um, or I am this person who, and I work in addiction. So <laughs> that's why I said that, but like, we're identifying by what's happening and that is, that's, we don't want to do that. And so instead, new moon ritual, you get present, you're raising your vibration, you're assessing the situations and you're asking what, what is it that I need to learn from this? Or like, what is it that I'm afraid of losing? You know, what is it that, um, how can I take this situation and, and turn it into something that will be a catalyst for transformation. Like, how can I use this to help other people? That's a really one, good one, too. Like, that gets us out of our way when we're like, okay, I had this circumstance, like for me, with addiction, right? And I started teaching or doing meditation workshops to other people in recovery. And so I had a lot of imposter syndrome, right? If I had identified as somebody else, like if I identified and made that mean something about me that I wasn't qualified to work with other, like teach other people in recovery, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So I had to just see it as, as what my energy or as what has been created with, with how I've responded to the world and to other people. And so it's to get us to a higher brain using our higher, um, you know, we have like, we have the conscious, the subconscious and the super conscious. And so it's when we get up to that, like wise mind, sorry, my hair looks crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> so reeling it back in, use this new moon to start to clear space and ask yourself what it is you really want. There's also one other thing. If you don't know what you want, decide what you want. <laughs> right? Decide what you want. So it's, it's like all of us, we have a plan for our lives, but then we follow a course of action because we think we should, right? So if you're doing that, um, or that we feed into and everything else falls into place by default. So if you've been living by default, then this is probably what you need to start with of like, you know, make a list of things you'd like to change, improve, learn. What's a skill that you'd like to learn that will get you to your goal? Like that's what I'm focusing on right now with coaching. Um, and so like make a list of that to improve, learn, refer to it daily. Um, if you want to move, start packing if your plans are in motion. So want a new job, take a picture 
um, when you job, take a picture, draw a picture of a door with the words old job on it. Like create the scene of what you want to experience. I'm using the new moon energy. That's perfect. Like that's a perfect way. You could just do this of like, what is it I want in my life? And then what are the next steps? How can I move closer to that? And so it's just this ceremony. And of course, I light a candle first. Sorry. I light a candle. I um, light some incense, clear the energy of the room. You don't have to do that to get started. So don't think you have to be like all woo woo <laughs> like I am. And I, I have my journal and my pen and I have water and I'm just I'm just with myself. And it's like you can never do it wrong. You can never do a new moon ritual wrong. So if you, if anyone tells you, any healers or other people that teach whatever, if they're like, you're doing it wrong, that's ego. I want you guys to like watch out for that, right? Your truth is your truth. It might not be somebody else's, but it's yours. And that doesn't make it wrong, right? So make it your own. How are you going to do a new moon ritual tonight? Is it going to be just researching new moons <laughs> or new moons? Whatever you want, right? The fact it's on a, my on my birthday, I know it's telling me, it's shaking shit up, <laughs> telling me, hey, this has got to go. It doesn't align with your energy anymore. What is out of alignment with you? Who is out of alignment with you that has been there since the beginning of your awakening and now you're healing and your, your vibration's rising to a default and they're either growing with you or they're going away? It literally cannot go any other way. And that's that's the power of this. And so, so when you're done, you want to thank yourself, your higher self. You want to think of, you want to thank your guides or thank any past loved ones that you might have, you know, called in. Because you can do that as well. If you want to work on your intuitive gifts, you can just use the new moon to harness that um, third eye energy, right? By just clearing your chakras. Make this a practice where you sit down and you're like, all right, how am I feeling? What's been going on? What's the stress? What is it that I wish was different? Because that's where stress comes from, right? Is when we're wishing a situation were different, that's where stress comes in. <laughs> so it's, it's just getting back to center and allowing things to be as they are and accepting where you're at right now, not making it mean anything. And so um, if you want to take it even further than that, you know, again, set the intention, put it on a piece of paper and I've buried it in the ground before <laughs> I've uh, burnt it like uh, the new moon or the full moon. We do a lot of that, but you can do the new moon as well. Um, you know, what are you clearing space for? What is it you want to call more of into your life? Even if it's just like love, you know, or kindness or forgiveness. Like for me, I want to call in, I want to show more gratitude for my clients and for my friends and for my coworkers and my group. If you're in the Soul Relaunch Society, you guys are all about to get <laughs> a message from me of like, I want to show you more appreciation and thankfulness. And and because I, I think that's, that is the highest vibration we can be at. And when we feel appreciated, how does it feel? Like it feels safe, right? We feel good. We feel valued um, when somebody appreciates us and we can we'll talk more about that but uh, another time I could go into all of that um, let me go ahead and read what you guys happy B day happy hi Tammy yes thank you hi there I haven't really tapped into the moon energy in a long time I missed the rituals and by the way if you don't do it today you still have a couple days to do it by the way and it doesn't have to be a big thing it doesn't have to be complicated um, if I have my crystals that I, I have certain ones, like I'm obsessed with the sardonyx right now. And Debbie, if she's still on here, she has this like flicker ring, <laughs> clicker ring. And, um, I'm going to get it. I just ordered one and it's going to, I got, um, I forget which one the crystal I got, but anyway, this is what I use. Crystals are what I like to use. What about you? Like, what do you like to use? Or if you haven't ever done this before, um, it could just be earbuds in a journal. <laughs> That's in my kit too. Or it could be incense. Um, whatever it is, just start somewhere because that's going to help you get in the present moment. Incense has two, two purposes. It clears the energy and is something for us to use our senses to smell to get into the present moment. That's where our power is. So at the new moon... Um, Again, it's it's black, right? Can't really see it. <laughs> it's it's kind of the unknown and it feels like the uncertainty. So like the message for me that's coming through right now is is dropping my 
need to control and surrender to the unknown. And like, Amy, if you're still on here, my, my, my mindset coach, like that is what I need to do is surrender and just allow things to be. Um, and also don't attach to the outcome of what we're trying to get to, right? It's just, um, enjoying the process. <sighs> so that's how you do a new moon ritual. Um, I'm sure you'll find other people do other things, but the most important is one, set an intention to create a little space, get your tools together, right? And then three, meditate, get present in the present moment. Relax. That's the point right here. We want to relax. That's the, that's the ultimate goal so that the energy in our body can start to flow a little bit more freely and um, you'll start to feel it. But if your mind is not in the present moment, that's, that's why you don't, we don't feel it is because we can't freaking let, you know, we can't relax. Okay. So I would love to see what your new moon ritual looks like, or if you do this today or this weekend, um, again, Sunday at 11, we're going to be doing uh, the soul session over in the soul relaunch. And yes, we're doing a new moon ritual during the day because it, it's okay. You don't have to do it at night. Um, I like to do full moons at night always with like a fire. That's definitely how I like to do it. Um, but for this one, I just, just allow it to be there. Um, yeah. And I want to know. So I will post these questions at the top about what to ask yourself to clear the space out and know what needs to be cleared out what's ready. Um, and I can't wait to see how this goes for you. So all right, guys. Bye.